In this video, I'll show you how to print these ribbon hangers that go over the ribbons of my race medals. I run a lot of 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, full marathons, and in a previous video, I started printing back tags on the backs of my medals. I will link to the video where I show you how to print these back tags step by step. Not all of my medals have this blank area where I can attach a back tag. Some of my medals are more like this, where it has a beautiful design on the back. I didn't want to glue something over this design. Instead, I created a ribbon hanger, and the ribbon just slides right through this ribbon hanger. And I can remember that this is my medal and my time. In order to design and print these ribbon hangers, I used Tinkercad, which is a free CAD program. I used my Bamboo Labs P1S with AMS so that I could use the multicolor printing. And I used Bamboo Studio to print these out. And I'll show you how to do this in this video, step by step. Now let's get started. My first step is going to be to measure how large I want these lanyard hangers to be. Item is going to sit hopefully quite at the bottom of this lanyard, but I need to make sure the openings are big enough so that it can fit and it'll sit nicely. For example, if I wanted to the top of the lanyard holder to be here, I would need the opening at the top to be 82 millimeters wide. And then I also want the hanger to be about 37 to 40 millimeters tall. I need to be able to put the hanger onto this lanyard here. So I'm gonna measure how thick it is. It's about six millimeters, five and a half, six millimeters wide. So I'm gonna have to put this whole thing through the lanyard hanger. The hole has to be at least 81 wide by six millimeters thick. For this project, you'll need an account with Tinkercad. I'm gonna use a free account with Tinkercad. And once you're logged in, you want to create a new 3D design and then I'm going to drop a box onto the design. And this is the outer dimensions of the box we're gonna be working on. We know that we want our hanger to be at least 40 millimeters tall, and we know on the inside it needs to be 82, so if I add two millimeters on each side, that's about 86 millimeters. And then I want this hanger to be about two millimeters in thickness. Kind of a base for your lanyard hanger. Drag in a hole box, what they call a hole box. I want the inside hole to be 82 millimeters wide by six millimeters thin. And then height is, but just for fun, I'm gonna make it three millimeters. And then let's see how that works, how that looks in our lanyard hanger. Okay, that is not too bad. We also wanna make sure that we have enough space for our text. And we're gonna duplicate this we need a top and a bottom to put our lanyard through. Select all and I want to just align all the middles. Now if you really want to get real scientific about it, what we can do is I can select the main piece, then select the whole piece. I'm going to hit, that, hit the shift button, select two pieces, and then I'm going to align and I'm going to align the tops right here. And I'm doing this on purpose, so I'm just going to hit the down arrow, down arrow. So now it's two millimeters down from the very top. And I'm going to do the same, click off, I'm going to do the same thing here. Click the main piece, shift, hit the small box. I'm going to do an alignment, align to the bottom, and then I'm going to click the hole and up arrow twice, and that gets it exactly two millimeters. So I'm going to select all, and I'm going to hit group, and that gives me my base. Now let's put some text on this, put my name, and I'm gonna change the font to sans mono. You can change it to whatever you want to. You make this a lot smaller to try to fit onto the lanyard hanger. And I'm gonna change the height from 3.2 to 2.5, and I want to center that. Next, I want to duplicate that. I want the same font, I'm gonna hit the down arrow. And I'm just gonna change the text, it is the event and the time. I'm going to make sure everything's aligned in the middle, and then I'm gonna group everything together. I've changed the title, now I'm going to export my file, I'm gonna export as an STL. Now I'm gonna load the filament into the AMS. I already have, from a previous print, my white PLA in slot number two. I am going to put my black PLA 
in slot number three. So it really doesn't matter which one you have where, just you just need to put that in and then it goes into the AMS. Now I'm in my Bamboo Studio app and I have my white PLA in slot number two and you just saw me load the black PLA so I'm going to change it to generic PLA and I'm going to change the color to black. Now I have this loaded in my slot number three on my AMS. Now I'm going to go over to prepare. Now I'm going to take the file I just exported and I'm going to drag and drop it into the plate. Now it does automatically default to the filament in one. Now first I'm going to hit resync. So I've hit this little button here and that way it knows that I have black PLA in slot number three. I'm going to change that. I'm going to hit objects. Now I'm going to select file I just dropped in and I don't want it to be blue. I've decided I would like it to be black instead. So I'm gonna click the number one and then click the number three and it will change my item to the black filament. Now I'm going to select my item. I'm gonna click on color painting because I want my text to be white. I'm gonna click on two for the white filament. I'm gonna click on height range. And then I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm going to select the layers that I want to be white. Now my lettering is white. Now I'm gonna hit return. Now see what I would like to print. Let's click slice plate. See these little dots here, those are the seams. I'm gonna unclick the seams and this is what it should look like. So it should look very good. For my lanyard hanger, all I have to do is click print plate. And then I'm gonna send my print job. I'm using slots two and three, and I'm gonna click send. And here is our lanyard hanger and our metal. And I'm going to thread the ribbon through the bottom of the hanger and then through the top so that it displays nicely. And I'm pulling the lanyard hanger through. And here's what the finished project looks like. I can now display my metal with this lanyard hanger that has my name and my time and the event on it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.